All right, we're back. We got ourselves a mail call. I'm going to be cracking a Mac and Jack's African Amber Amber Ale. This one's coming in at 5.8%. And got a little write-up right there. It says, in your hand you hold the original unfiltered and dry hopped amber of the Pacific Northwest. The African Amber has been in the has been a local mainstay since 1994. Mac likes to say the best beer is the one you love. We hope you will love this beer wherever you are. We'll see you at the local watering hole, Mac and Jacks. And um, I appreciate Mac and Jacks because they were actually like the first brewery I ever visited, and they were very easy to get in my um in my town. Mm. Oh yeah. And you know what? They didn't do canning before COVID. So COVID I thought was going to be like the end of Mac and Jacks. They're not a super hype brewery. They just were like keg only. And they ended up they ended up making moves during COVID. They started canning almost instantly and shit. Now I see their stuff in the grocery stores and all over still easy to get but now I don't got to go to a bar I can have it you know to go take home I guess uh, COVID forced some innovation and uh, I appreciate that so <clears throat> we got ourselves a box we got ourselves a knife the bench made so let's get into it Side, that side, down the median. So this one here, I don't know. I don't know. I just on a whim. I think um, this one's from Moon Soaps. I think Moon Soaps uh, liked one of my stories or something. They made a positive comment I don't know what it was but it put them on my mind and so I ran over to their website fucking made an order got this whole block I opened it from the bottom so it was a little bit difficult because they had tape on the bottom to keep it shut properly and all that jazz and they have it arranged for you to open it from the top Obviously, I didn't do that, but little moon soap sticker. Very cool. Definitely not the first one of those that I've had. We got a, a little letter, which is very cool. It's something that moon soaps always does. Have a little personalized touch, and I always appreciate that. Come on. So it says, just a note. Hello DK, thank you so much for all your support. I hope you're enjoying the beginning of summer. One of these days we need to have a group meetup. Wishing you and the wife well. Warmest regards. Melody. And that's fucking badass. I always, uh, one of the things that made me kind of, um, really sparkle in the eyes when I look at Moon Soaps is these little handcrafted touches. You know, the personalized touch. Um, I always appreciate those from any artisan, and Moon Soaps just came out the gate with that personalized touch. Um, and then we got the invoice here, and it says, I put a bar of amaretto in there for you. Warmest regards. Melody. So that is fucking awesome. I definitely appreciate that. I didn't order amaretto. Alright, let's uh, shift some of this down here. So this is definitely a bar soap. They always have the dopest wrapping paper right there. Got a little moon sticker holding it all together. And it's almost so pretty that you don't want to fucking open it. So some of these are definitely, I can't do my bar soap reviews without having moon soaps involved. Moon soaps, it, it's one of the best bars. I'll just, uh, I'll just say it outright. It's one of the best bath bars that I've came across thus far. 
and I've been using them way before I started these reviews. But this is a scent of theirs that I have not tried, and Marion the Barbarian said this one is really good. And this one's Lady Grey. I can smell it already, even holding it out in front of me. You can see it has like some little uh, flower petals, maybe lavender petals on top. And this one says, notes of strong black tea play on top of light citrus scents of bergamot while subtle hints of sweet peppermint swirl in the air. And you can see right there the scent notes, ingredients, and website. Um, I'll get it as close as I can since the texture of the cardboard makes it hard to read. Let's see what we got. Scorpius, one of the uh, zodiacal constellation. This large and famous constellation is the one, the south hemisphere where the center, near the center of the Milky Way. Really hard to uh, see that. Um, or maybe I'm just fucking blind, but kind of cool. Uh, Moon Soaps just has a little touch of astrology there, dropping some knowledge on us. And then you can see right there, cruelty-free, printed on recyclable pe uh, paper, non-edible, and for external use only. I cannot wait to use this one. I'm telling you, Marion is definitely on to something. I like how the, the citrus is just barely popping out front of the black tea. That is going to be a good one. And I'm looking for a spot on my counter to put it, but definitely looking forward to that. Now, this is what I'm assuming is Amaretto because I only ordered one bath soap. So I'm assuming this is Amaretto. And again, guys, sorry about the air conditioner. It was over a hundred, probably over a hundred and ten today. There's no way I was going to be standing in this small bathroom without my AC. So I apologize. <clears throat> We're just going to have to get through this together. And there we go. There's a bar of Amaretto. I've already went through like multiple bars of Amaretto. Amaretto is awesome. Awesome fucking scent. Um, funny enough, it doesn't have the scent notes on this one. But I can tell you, Amaretto is a sweet buttery almond scent that has a gourmand ish quality to it it smells good enough to eat so it's a beautiful warm sweet scent and this one says uh, cygnus one of the famous constellations in the northern sky this constellation represents the summer season Kind of cool. I do not remember that in the past, so that might be uh, some new touches that they've added. Very cool, though. I like it. I like it a lot. And then, the piece de la resistance here. I normally moon soaps give samples, but I think Melody knows I've tried her whole line. And I've tried shit that hasn't came out. And I've tried a lot of her bath soaps that don't correlate with her shaving soaps always. So, I think she skipped the samples, sent me a bath bar. I love it. I love it. I love it. Fucking moon soaps. I love them. Fucking love them. Alright. This one right here was the only soap that I didn't have a full tub of. I had multiple samples of it. And I actually... Gave all those samples to other wet shavers. Like, I just wanted to spread the word and spread the love about Moon Soaps. So I've got all my samples of Union out of the den. And it was basically time. Look at that fucking label. Moon Soaps has some of the dopest labels in the game. Um, <clears throat> tallow shaving soap. This one has a tinge of menthol. Not in the scent so much but just a little uh, cooling effect to it. This one is supposed to be a traditional barbershop, and it's a wonderful barbershop scent. Um, I think at the time I first discovered Union, I wasn't necessarily, like, itching for a barbershop, or maybe there was other releases going on at that time that excited me more, but it was always one that I knew I would come back to eventually, just to flesh out Moon Soap's... Um, 
lineup. And so now I have every Moon Soap soap, and I've tried the majority of their bath soaps. Wonderful people, outstanding products. I cannot wait to use this soon. Um, if nothing else, just to show some love to Moon Soaps, which was basically the darling of 2020, the darling um, shaving artisan of 2020. Absolutely love Moon Soaps. So. Let us move on to the next mail call. And there's more love to be spread around. So, we got a pouch. We'll bust out the gut hook. Oh my god, is that the gut hook? Yes, it is. Can't fuck with that. <clears throat> All right, Let's see what we got in here. We got an invoice, and from our family to yours, we appreciate your support, Murphy and McNeil. If you were unaware, Murphy and McNeil had a huge infinitus drop, I think that's how you say it, infinitus. Anyways, they released a shit ton of scents. All small batch, had a wrapping paper around it, nice touch. I like it when my stuff arrives in good condition. You can see there the label is absolutely flawless. I don't see any bubbles underneath. Very well placed. Pretty close to center. Um, anyhow, so this is one of their Infinitus soaps, which are small batch. And this one is called XS, based off uh, Paco Rabanne's XS. And it's a cologne dupe. And I like most of what Paco Rabanne does, so let's check it out. Oh, and Brian, wet shave experience. Look at the bottom of that. This was sitting in my hot mailbox. He just had an experience with the soap shifting in the heat. And <laughs> this one definitely shifted in the heat. Now, this is Kodiak. It's bare tallow. Um, there ain't really shit you could do about this, um, but I'm gonna wait for it to cure back into place. I'll probably mush it down while it's still pliable, and, um, there's not really much that I could do right now about this, unfortunately, but we're gonna give it a go after it gets here, and I'm having a heat wave right now, like I said in the beginning of the video. It was at least like 110 today, so I'm not surprised this happened. Um, I have had this happen in the past. I let the soap acclimate to the room, um, then gave it a shave, and it worked. So I think the soap will be fine, you know what I mean? Nobody likes opening up their soap and seeing that, but it'll be fine. So... Anyways, let's talk a little bit about the scent. I'm kind of disappointed I wasn't able to see the collapsed veins, since this is the uh, Kodiak base. The collapsed veins base is what I call it, because it has a characteristic um, collapsed veins <laughs> looking uh, surface after it's cured. But obviously, that has all melted away now. I will say, I can smell this banging off the puck and it smells fantastic. I believe, if I remember correctly, XS was a Woody Accord men's uh, cologne, and I could definitely pick some of that up. It's definitely a classy uh, masculine fragrance. I'm gonna let it acclimate further, but definitely eager to use uh, Murphy and McNeil's XS in their Infinitus base. I, I believe this is the first Infinitus uh, that I bought. Oh, not Infinitus base. It's just, that's what they call their small batch stuff, Infinitus. Anyways, yeah, Kodiak base. Right there on the back. So, that's their bare tallow base. Murphy and McNeil is another brand that I absolutely love and adore. Excellent customer service. Um, the dude takes care of you. If something, if you're unhappy, let him know, he will take care of you, and their used marketplace is a blessing to the wet shaving community. 
Um, Murphy and McNeil just does killer soaps. Their Aeon base, fantastic. Their Kodiak base, fantastic. And the Slancha base, which is actually their beer soap base, is fucking fantastic. You don't hear about that one as often. But god damn it. Pick up St. James. Fucking motorboat that beautiful gourmand scent. And then enjoy that creamy goodness. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. That was it. Just a small one. Uh, I ranted a lot, but I had a lot of love to share today. Anyways, cheers. Uh, stay cool out there. I appreciate your support. Um, I just hit 500 subscribers. Brian from the Wet Shave Experience notified me that I was over 500. I don't watch my sub count, so this is not the first time this has happened where somebody has actually notified me that I hit a milestone. So, giveaway coming soon. I already have giveaway material. Um, so, I'll just roll it into this milestone. Anyways, cheers guys. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one.